Uh, the ride Judah. Yeah. Righteous in my actions, no distractions, breaking scriptures down to a fraction. Sabbath day relaxing, on the streets blasting. Scriptures keep slashing while Christians keep dashing. Christ was a black man, but they hate me for Come my on, black skin. Like Christ, Thought you knew Christ, but you really is some advice. Today's topic is no salvation for the sloth. All right. Uh, today we're gonna deal with brothers and sisters that come into the truth, and uh, as we get as we get responsibilities, as we get. Uh, Titles as we get ranks given to us, there are actions that should come with those ranks and with those titles. All right, so we're gonna deal with how we should handle ourselves in business, in the truth, outside of the truth. All right, give me Psalms one nineteen and sixty. Psalms one nineteen verse sixty. Mm -hmm. I made haste. I made what? I made haste. All right, he said he made haste. Read and delayed not. Uh huh. To keep thy commandments. All right. So David said he made haste. He did not delay to keep God's commandments. So he wasn't slothful about his business. He was not slothful about the Most High's business. From there, give me Proverbs 20, 23 and 20, 23. Yep. Proverbs 23 and 23. So David is giving us a hint of how we should deal in this truth, how we should deal with one another. We should make haste. Read. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 23. Mm -hmm. By the truth. By the what? By the truth. By the truth. Read. And sell it not. And sell it not. All right. So what it's saying is, it's you coming into this truth, it's almost like you bought something that's precious to it. And you don't want to sell this gold. Read. Buy the truth mm -hmm. and sell it not. Mm -hmm. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. All right. So we want to buy the truth and sell it not. So what it's saying is this opportunity that we have before us, we don't want to let this opportunity go. From there, go to Sirach 5 and 7. All right, because dealing in this truth, this is very important. The Most High says we're one of a thousand. So every opportunity we have, every every chance we get to do something in this truth, we should treasure. All right, read that. Sirach chapter 5 verse 7. Mm -hmm. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Do what? Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. So the Most High says don't be slothful, brothers and sisters, that are out there thinking about should I do this, should I not do this. Don't be slothful. Don't tarry to turn from the Lord. Read. And put not off from day to day. Do what? Put not off uh -huh. from day to day. All right. Don't put it off from day to day if whether or not you want to reach out to a brother or sister. Don't put off from day to day the works that you're supposed to be doing inside the body. Don't do that. Read. For suddenly mm -hmm. the wrath of the Lord come forth. Uh -huh. For suddenly the wrath of the Lord will come forth. He will take all your responsibilities away from you and be put to death. For not handling this truth correctly. Read. And in thy security, uh -huh. thou shalt be destroyed. Uh -huh. And perish in the day of vengeance. You see that? By you being slothful, by you ter by you putting off from day to day, the Most High will kill you in the day of vengeance. Because you didn't take this truth seriously. You didn't buy the truth, as the scripture says. From there, give me uh, Ezekiel 14 and 20. Because we must understand the, our works that we put forth. The way we do the works that we put forth. That is how we are going to get salvation. And according to the scriptures, those that are slothful will not get salvation. Those that don't take this truth seriously. Read that. Ezekiel chapter 14 verse 20. Uh -huh. Though Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it. Uh -huh. As I lead, live, save the Lord God. Mm -hmm. They shall deliver neither son uh -huh. nor daughter. They shall but deliver their own souls. Their what? Their own souls. By what? By their righteousness. By their righteousness. By their works. By them being diligent. By Noah being perfect. All right. By Daniel being perfect, showing his diligence throughout his works, brothers and sisters. These examples of these men, Noah, Daniel, Job, they were not slothful men. They were about the Most High's business. They set a great example for us. From there, give me Proverbs 19 and 15. I'm going to show you what being slothful, that slothful spirit will do to us. All right. Because that spirit is one that we cannot carry into this truth. We have a lot of work to do. And we don't need brothers that put off from day to day. We don't need that amongst us. Read that. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 15. Mm -hmm. Slothfulness. What? Slothfulness. Uh -huh. Casteth into a deep sleep. Read. And an idle soul shall suffer hunger. Alright. So it says slothfulness casteth into deep sleep. I'm going to show you what that deep sleep is, brothers and sisters. Give me Proverbs 21 and 16. 
Let's see what that deep sleep that you're going to be cast into is. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 16. Mm -hmm. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding uh -huh. shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You see that? By you falling asleep, you're going to end up in the congregation of the dead. Meaning, you being slothful will, will make you forget the Most High's commandments. It will put you to sleep. And I, I can attest to that. Because I've been asleep in the truth. We've been Israelites, knowing who we are, and we've been asleep. It will happen because you put off from day to day. You don't keep God's commandments. You don't reach out to brothers and sisters. You don't apply Malachi 3 and 16. All right? From there, give me, um, give me uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 18. Because you being slothful will result in you falling out of the truth. Brothers and sisters that are slothful, you are risking your opportunity to get the kingdom of heaven. Read that. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 18 mm -hmm. By much slothfulness By much what? By much slothfulness Read The building decayed The building right here is your works that you're putting forth Everything that you put in is decaying slowly Your name is decaying Your works are decaying Because you're slothful Read And through idleness of the hands And through idleness of the hands Oh I don't know what I can do for the truth I don't have any talents Read The house droppeth through you see that the house dropping through is you being in this truth that's that house that's dropping through by you being slothful from there give me proverbs 24 and 30. all right because we must understand that we cannot carry that characteristic over into this truth slothfulness will not get us into the kingdom it will not speed up this process of repentance for our brothers and sisters read that Proverbs chapter 24 verse 30. Uh -huh. i went by the field of the slothful. So, Solomon said he went by the field of the slothful. Let's see what he compares the slothful to. Read. And by the vineyard of the man, void of understanding. And by the what? The vineyard of the man, void of understanding. So, a brother or sister that is slothful, Solomon, and the Most High God says, you are void of understanding. Why? Because you don't understand that your works are hot, uh, correlate with you getting the kingdom of heaven. So if you're slothful, you're not getting it. He says you're void of understanding. You don't understand this truth. Read. And lo, it was all grown mm -hmm. over with thorns, mm -hmm. and nettles had covered the face thereof. Read. And the stone wall thereof was broken down. Mm -hmm. Then I saw and considered it well. So Solomon saw this. He saw this, this yard, and it was all grown over. It had, it had weeds in it. It was beat up. And he considered in his mind. Read. Then I saw and considered it well. Mm -hmm. I looked upon it and received instruction. Mm -hmm. Yet a little sleep. A little sleep. Read. A little slumber. A little slumber. That brother that can't get out of the bed to get a job. That brother that can't get out of the bed to go pass out flyers. That sister that won't do anything for the body. Read. A little folding of the hands to sleep. And a little folding of the hands to sleep. Read. So shall thy poverty come as one that travaileth, uh -huh. and thy want as an armed man. You see that? Because the Most High says we're rich. But by you being slothful, you falling asleep, you're going to get poverty. What is poverty? That's not getting the kingdom of heaven, brothers and sisters. That's how serious this thing is. From there, give me um, Luke 14. Luke 14 and 28. Because that's on a spiritual level and that's on a, that's on a daily basis. That's brothers and sisters that's working. They got jobs. We can't have that spirit of slothfulness. All right? Our light should shine before men. Read that. Luke chapter 14, verse 28. Mm -hmm. For which of you, intending to build a tower, mm -hmm. sitteth not down first, and counteth the cost? All right, so right now he's saying, if, if you're going to build something, you should sit down and count the cost. The same thing in this truth. The same thing out of this truth. Whenever you are going to do something, count the cost. Consider, how long is it going to take me to get this done? So you don't give a date that you can't live up to. So you don't become slothful on the job. Read. Whether he have sufficient to finish it, mm -hmm. lest happily after he hath laid the foundation mm -hmm. and is not able to finish it, mm -hmm. all that behold it begin to mock him. Right. Because you're being slothful, now guess what? Brothers and sisters are mocking you. That's just like you coming to this truth. And you telling every brother and sister, hey, you know you're supposed to have fringes on. And you say, oh, yeah, I'm going to get mine next week. And guess what happens to you? You be slothful. And what happens? Goes one month. Hey, goes two months. 
And guess what? You still don't have any fringes on, yet you're trying to rebuke brothers and sisters for that. The Most High says they are going to mock you. Read. Saying, this man began to build mm -hmm. and was not able to finish. Right. You said you were an Israelite, and you still can't even put fringes on your shirt. I'm not listening to you. Read. Or what king go going to make war against another king sitteth not down first, mm -hmm. and counseleth whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that cometh against him with 20,000. Right. So the Most High saying, consider things before you do it. So you don't come off as slothful. So you don't become in a slothful spirit. Give timelines. Give a date to get things done to prevent that slothful spirit from coming on you. From there, give me Sirach 22. I'm going to show you what that slothful spirit, how brothers and sisters feel about you. All right? Because nobody likes that person that never gets the work done. Nobody wants to be that person that, oh, I didn't do my homework. You don't want to be that person. Read that. Sirach chapter 22, verse 1. Mm -hmm. A slothful man is compared to a filthy stone. To a what? To a filthy stone. You see that, brothers and sisters? You brothers that don't get stuff done, the most I said, you're compared to a filthy stone. Read. And everyone will hiss him out to his disgrace. Uh -huh. A slothful man is compared to the filth of a dunghill. The filth of a what? Of a dunghill. All right, brothers and sisters, if you don't know what a dunghill is, look it up. And that's what the Most High compares you, compares you to. Because that brother or sister that doesn't get done, things done, nobody likes it. Nobody likes that. Because now you're, you're messing up the body. People are counting on you to get things done and you're not doing it. Don't be that person. Read that again. A slothful man is compared to the filth of a dunghill. Mm -hmm. Every man that takes it up will shake his hand. All right, from there, give me Proverbs 8, 18 and 9. 18 and 9. Because this, this, is a, um, this spirit can be put on people. All right? Cause, and it's really, it's really something that came on to us during slavery. All right? We got out of slavery. And now we think we don't have to do anything. We take our time in doing things. But our, our forefathers never dealt like that. All right, read that. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 9. Mm -hmm. He also that is slothful uh -huh. in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. So the most I'm saying, those brothers that are slothful, they are a brother to those that are a great waster. So he's saying those people hang together. So guess what? You should watch who you hang around. All right. If you're around the brother or sister that gets rebuked every week, you need to check your spirit. Because a lot of times, guess what? You have those same attributes. And I'll prove that. Give me Sirach 13 and 15. All right. So you don't want to be around brother or sister that's slow. If you are around them, you should correct them and show them the correct way to get things done. Read that. Sirach chapter 13, verse 15. Mm -hmm. Every beast mm -hmm. loveth his like. Right. And every man loveth his neighbor. Read. All flesh consorteth according to kind. Read that again. All flesh consorteth according to kind. You see that? So if you are slothful, guess what? You're going to hang around slothful brothers. If you are a waster, you're going to hang around wasteful brothers. So guess what it will be in your best interest to do? Hang around the brothers and sisters that get things done. Try to, try to consult with the captains, with the deacons, with the, uh, with the high-ranking officers. So you can learn how not to be slothful. All right, from there, give me James 1 and 22. Because like I said before, us talking about what we're going to do in this truth means absolutely nothing. The most high way is actions. And he gives us instructions on how to get, it, get those actions done. Read that. James chapter 1 verse 22. Mm -hmm. But be ye doers of the word. Be what? But be ye doers of the word. Be ye doers. Not the brother or sister that sleeps. Not the brother or sister that takes forever to get things done. Be ye doers of the word. Read. And not hearers only. And not what? And not hearers only. So don't be the person that only hears. Oh yeah, man, what the bishop is saying is deep, man. But you don't do anything. You sit there and just sit on the knowledge. You don't go out and pass out flyers. You don't go to camp. You don't do anything. That's a slothful spirit. Give me Ezekiel. Chapter 33, because the most I said we're going to have those type of people. But amongst the body, we shouldn't have that. We got to get that spirit out of us. How is it that we have over 800 people at Passover and we still only have 400 uh, podcast likes? Because brothers and sisters are slothful. We can't have that spirit. Read that. Ezekiel 33 and 31. Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 31. Mm -hmm. And they come unto thee mm -hmm. as the people cometh. Read. 
and they sit before thee as my people, mm -hmm. and they hear thy words. And they what? And they hear thy words. Our people hear this word. You are hearing this word. Read. But they will not do them. But they will what? But they will not do them. You see that? Because they have that slothful spirit. All they want to do is listen. But what do they want to do at the end of the day? They want to go to sleep, and they want to cheerlead. Don't have that spirit, brothers and sisters. They will not do them. Read. For with their mouth they show much love, mm -hmm. but their heart goeth after their covetousness. Uh huh. Alright, that's all I wanted on that one. Oh no, is that all I wanted? No, it's verse 32. Yep, verse 32. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song. Right, everything that they hear is lovely. It sounds great. Read. Of one that hath a pleasant voice. Mm hmm. And can play well on an instrument. Mm -hmm. For they hear thy words. For they hear the words. They hear what they're supposed to be doing. Read. But they do them not. But they what? But they do them not. You see that? We cannot be like that, brothers and sisters. We must do these words. James said it best. He says, be ye doers of the word. All right. From there. Give me, um, give me Proverbs 13 and 4. All right. Because... The end result of us being slothful and us not doing God's words is we're not going to have a prosperous life. You're not going to get what you want. You're not going to get the wife and kids. You're not going to get the house you want. You're not going to push this truth. And at the end of the day, you're not going to get the kingdom. Right. So you cannot have this spirit. Read that. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 4. Mm -hmm. The soul of the slugger desired. Read. The soul of the slugger. That slothful brother always talking about what he want to get. But what does he never do? He never puts forth the actions. Read. And hath nothing. And have nothing. So that, that, that bump on the street, guess what? He can tell you about all his dreams, all his aspirations. But he never put anything together to get it done. Read. But the soul of the diligent. But the what? The soul of the diligent. The diligent. Those are the doers of the word. Read. Shall be made fat. They shall be made fat. All right. Why? Because they are putting forth works. They're getting things done. All right. That's how we roll. That's how King Solomon roll. That's how King David roll. And that's how we gonna roll. All right. Once we start applying these scriptures, from there, give me uh, Proverbs, not Proverbs. Give me Hebrews six and twelve. Chapter six, verse twelve. Mm -hmm. That ye be not slothful. That you what? Be not slothful. You see that? We should not be slothful. Read. But followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. You see that? So we shouldn't be slothful, but we should follow those brothers that have patience, that have faith. All right? Those are the brothers and sisters that we should aspire to be like. That's what I just said earlier. But the scripture says it very plain. Don't be slothful. All right? From there, give me uh, Proverbs 6. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 6. All right? Because a lot of people uh, use this scripture right here. So we got we got to go to it because this animal, this animal or insect is very very uh, lovely. It's praised by a lot of people, and we're gonna find out why. Read that. Proverbs chapter six verse six. Mm -hmm. Go to the ant. Go to the ant. Thou slugger. Thou slugger. So he's saying, all you that are slothful, go look at this ant. Read. Consider her ways. And consider this ant's ways. How they move. How they act. Read. And be wise. Mm -hmm. Which having no God, no God, overseer, uh -huh. or ruler. So the ant, they don't have anybody telling them what to do. Nobody has to say, hey, make sure you get this done. Hey, make sure you clock in for it. Hey, make sure you have this project due on this day. No, the ant doesn't have any of that. Read. Verse 8. Mm -hmm. Provided her meat in the summer. Right. They make sure they fed in the summer. And gather her food in the harvest. Right. He understands when things need to get done. Read. How long will thou sleep, O sluggard? But he's saying, how long are you going to sleep, you sluggard? You say you want a job, but you haven't got up and got an application. You say you want all these things, but you're not putting forth any actions. Read. When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Read. Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, mm -hmm. a little folding of the hands to sleep. Read. Verse 11. So shall thy poverty mm -hmm. come as one that travaileth, mm -hmm. and thy want as an armed man. You see that? By you being slothful, at the end of the day, you're going to end up in poverty. Why? Because you never put forth any actions. And that's why we started this class. We want you brothers and sisters to understand that you cannot have that slothful spirit. All right? If you, whatever it is that, you, that you're trying to get done, get it done. All right? Get it done. From there, give me um, Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12, verse 9. 
because this is he very, very heavy on our feet. All right, this is something that we need to eradicate. Read that. Romans chapter twelve, verse nine. Mm -hmm. Let love be without dissimulation. Right. So no breaking into love. And what do we say? How do we look at a brother or sister that is slothful? It says we look at them as 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 the dumb hill. So that's breaking the love. We can't have love amongst one another if we have a slothful brother amongst us. It just ain't gonna work like that. Read. Let love be without dissimulation. Mm -hmm. Abhor that which is evil. Mm -hmm. Cleave to that which is good. Read. Be kindly affectionate one to another uh -huh. with brotherly love. Uh -huh. And honor preferring one another. Right. We should be preferring one another. Read. Be not, I'm sorry, not slothful in business. Right. So, because he said we should be preferring one another. Then he says, not slothful in business. Why? Because if a brother or sister is slothful in business, I'm not going to prefer that brother or sister. I don't want to. I don't want to suggest you to do anything. I'm not going to put you down as a reference because you're not going to get it done. But when everybody's on one accord, everybody's getting work done. Guess what? That's when we will have love without dissimulation. That's when all that gets done. When everybody's on the same page, like those ants. Because if you look at an ant, I would tear down an ant pile one day, and the next day is right back. Why? Because they get stuff done. All right, from there, give me uh, Matthew. Matthew chapter 25 and verse 13. All right, we're going to read all the way to 30 because Christ gave us a pretty good uh, parable right here. Matthew chapter 25 and verse 13. Matthew chapter 25, verse 13. Mm -hmm. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour we're in the Son of Man coming. Right. Just like we read in Sirach 5 and 7. Don't put off from day to day. Read. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, mm -hmm. who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. Right. When Christ left, he gave each of us talents. And when he's coming back, he's going to see what we did with these talents. Read. And unto one he gave five talents. All right. One man, he gave him five talents. To another two, uh -huh. and to another one, uh -huh. to every man according to his several ability, uh -huh. and straightway took his journey. Read. Then he that had received the five talents. So the brother that got the five talents, read. Went and traded with the same, uh -huh. and made them other five talents. So this first brother, he went out and he put forth works. He wasn't slothful. He didn't sit on his talent. He went out there and did it. He didn't talk about it. He went out there and did it. Read. And likewise, he that had received two, mm -hmm. he also gained another two. Right, the brother that got two, he wasn't slothful either. He went out there and got his two. Read. And he that received one went and digged in the earth. He went and did what? Digged in the earth. Read. And hid his Lord's money. Now this brother right here, he was slothful. This brother said, I'm just going to sit on this and I'm just going to wait. I'm going to hide this. Read. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh mm -hmm. and reckoneth with him. Read. And so he that re he received five talents came and brought other five talents, mm -hmm. saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Mm -hmm. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. So this first brother said, hey, you gave me this much uh, knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Guess what? I went and made five more apostles, five more uh, brothers and sisters that are pushing this truth. Read. His Lord said unto him, mm -hmm. well done. He said what? Well done, uh -huh. thou good and faithful servant. So that's showing you that Christ and the Most High, they want us to go out and do works. They don't want us to sit on his truth. Read. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. Mm -hmm. I will make thee ruler over many things. You see that? So brothers and sisters, when you have a small opportunity, do the both. Make the best out of it. Read. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Mm -hmm. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Mm -hmm. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. So this brother went forth and put forth works as well. Read. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Mm -hmm. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. Mm -hmm. I will make thee ruler over many things. Uh -huh. Enter thou into the, thy joy of thy Lord. Right. So we just read about these two examples of brothers that went out and they did what the most I wanted to do. They, they, they created more brothers and sisters in the truth. Read. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art an hard man. Uh -huh. Reaping where thou hast not sown, mm -hmm. and gathering where thou hast not straw, mm -hmm. and I was afraid. And I was what? I was afraid. Read. And went 
and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there ha there thou hast that. I'm sorry. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. Uh -huh. His Lord answered and said unto him. So you brothers and sisters that are out there that know this truth. And guess what? You saying, oh, I don't think I'm ready to go tell anybody or do anything about it. I don't think I'm ready to come out and congregate with the brothers and sisters. Listen, listen very closely to what Christ is going to call his brother and sister that hid his talent. That didn't go out and do anything. That didn't push this truth. Read. That wicked and slothful servant. Thou what? That wicked and slothful servant. You see that? He said, you are wicked and slothful. Read. Thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, mm -hmm. and gather where I have not straw. Read. That oughtest therefore to have put my money mm -hmm. to the exchangers, mm -hmm. and then at my coming I should have received my own with usury. You see that? He said, I should have just gave it to somebody else and let them make money, and I would have got it back with a little bit of extra. But you didn't do anything. I wasted I wasted this understanding, this knowledge on you. I let you know who you were and you didn't do anything with it. Read. Take therefore the talent from him mm -hmm. and give it unto him which hath ten talents. You see that? You're going to get your understanding taken from you. Read. For unto every one that hath shall be given, mm -hmm. and he shall have abundance. But from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he had. Read verse 30. Verse 30. And cast ye the unprofitable servant. The what? The unprofitable servant. You see that? The slothful servant is the unprofitable servant. Read. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. Mm -hmm. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You see that? You're not getting the kingdom with that effort. Ah, so oh, now. Sir, can yeah. I um, add a precept? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, Let's go back up to... Verse 25. All right, here we go. Verse Matthew, chapter 25, verse 25. And I was afraid. And he was what? And I was afraid. And he was afraid, all right? That, that, that's going to hold a lot of brothers and sisters back from mm -hmm. doing the work of the Most High, right. full-heartedly, right. because you're afraid. You're, you're trimming your ways. Mm -hmm. You're 50-50. You're the double-minded man. Right. All right, even though we just read in verse 30, there's punishment for you. Let's mm -hmm. read a uh, further understanding of that punishment in Revelation 21 and 8. Revelation 21 and 8. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 8. Mm -hmm. But the fearful. But the what? But the fearful. But the fearful. All right. It starts off. It says, but the fearful. Mm -hmm. Those people who are afraid to do the Mosai's work diligently and, and wholeheartedly. Read. Right. And unbelieving. Mm -hmm. And the abominable. And murderers. And whoremongers. And sorcerers. And idolaters. And all liars shall have their part. In the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. Shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. Mm -hmm. So it is that serious. The brother's bringing it out. Being slothful, it will, you will miss out on the king. Mm -hmm. All right? Great precept. Great precept. All right, from there, give me 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 14. All right? Because we must understand, us not doing the works of the Most High, and us not doing it the way he wants us to get it done, he just read it. We're going to take part in the lake of fire. So we need to consider that thing. All right? Shalom, Israel. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.